Okay guys, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little update, little things I've been kind of working on. I know it's a big race a lot of times to get everything done. It seems like every night I'm doing something uh, with my preseason. So I'll show you guys. I just got my four-wheeler back. I got it serviced, oil change, uh, you name it. I always really treat my four-wheeler really well. It's one of my big things. It's usually a big relief when I get that I have a guy, he looks over everything, greases everything down. I might put 20 miles a day on my four-wheeler, so it's kind of a big deal for me. Uh, show you guys a little bit. I've been doing some work on my tools. I like to spray paint my stuff, so I put a little orange on my tools. Uh, believe it or not, a little bit of paint makes a big difference in whether or not you can find your gear, right? Let's go in the shop and see what's going on in there. All right, so uh, we did a little bit of dyeing on some traps. I've got a bunch of work left to do on my traps. Um, I've been making uh, anchors the last few nights. I've got four dozen of my uh, cable slash snare uh, anchors. They're 18 inches in length. They're the longer ones, uh, the two inches is what they call those. And then I've got my land, uh, my land ones for the pogo made a big mistake i bought the wrong size when i went to my last convention um to give you an idea this is like a half inch size it's a little bit shorter than what it needs to be here's the two inch size that i'm putting together these are my cable restraints um real simple easy for me to do these <coughs> j hooks got plenty of j hooks still but um Let's see if I can't find the right size. I have a nice tip, so I'm going to take that to my next uh, Rondi in Kansas. And I'm just going to make sure it loads. The, the the pogo washers I had got were kind of sticking in my in my my driver. And so this is the size I need. <coughs> I had 200 of them, which is quite a bit. So this is the size I need. That's the size I bought. It's a big difference. Um you know so i'm gonna have to when to go out to kansas the next rendezvous and make sure you get the right size this time um i didn't even know they had a, that size but it's a little bit shorter um other than that um yeah that's the main thing i need to get about another see that's that'd be 50 stakes each um i need at least another 50 stakes that'd be 100 of each of those stakes and then i'll have to start lining out my four-wheeler getting it all decked out um got a pretty good little operation running right now um just still lots of stuff to do and i've got about a month left to do to do it in and uh, i just thought i'd share that with you okay guys we're gonna do some uh wax dirt uh real critical in the winter months wherever you're at if you've got some some hard weather uh wax dirt is by far in my opinion the king of all of your antifreeze for your bedding material um for a lot of guys they're just trapping one or two weeks and they're hanging her up this video is probably not going to be for you but for you diehard trappers that love to trap during so if you like to trap during that real harsh weather this is a good video for you making a small batch of wax dirt so i start out with my uh Flake wax, I think you could buy that at all your trapper supply. I want to say it's a 10 pound bag. Uh, flake wax is just real easy to work with. I'm using a two, uh, two cups to two cups of wax to 10 cups of dry dirt. That's my uh, formula that seems to work really well for me. It's a one to five ratio, um, or I'm gonna go with two cups to 10 and i will kind of explain this a little bit it is an informative video hopefully you guys like that um, i'm going to show you guys the the water test when we get done uh to where you guys can kind of see how it works uh, my goal is to get this done today on the 10 cups or the 10 pounds of flake wax i guess we'll just see where we go the main thing though that i've kind of noticed over the years of doing this you've got to have really bone dry dirt that's the important thing start out with super dry dirt bone dry dirt um, when you put it on there it shouldn't be uh smoking 
um, all that moisture has got to be gone on that dirt. So using the turkey fryer method, of course, going to put that on the lowest setting. One, two, Ten cups. That's what she looks like. There's my wax, and uh, let's go cook. Go cook some dirt. All right. Well, I got my dirt on there, of course. I got it on the lowest setting, and uh, now I will have a bit of a disclaimer. A lot of times, I will scorch the first batch. <laughs> But uh, that's, the, that's the one thing I don't want to do is scorch it. So some people have a thermometer and they say it's 150, I think. I get it good and hot to where it just starts to kind of smoke. Um, I'm going to mix in half of that wax and then I'm going to turn it. I usually turn it down and then I mix in the last half. And that's kind of how I do it. So I'm going to get this good and cooked. It should be really hot coming off, and uh, that's how we're going to cook it. All right, I, I'm ready to, to mix in that first half cup of, of wax, wax on top. Okay, I put in that last, that last batch. I'm still seeing a little bit of white on here. Usually takes a couple of uh, of these batches before I really get this process to where I really get to cooking. I don't want to cook this at all. I don't want it to scorch, don't want it to burn. That's the worst thing that could happen to me. All right, so there's the last of it. I just took it off the heat, mixed in that last part of that wax let's go put it on the table real quick now we're gonna get it all that was kind of not a bad first batch like i said earlier i i have a habit of burning the first batch and i think it came out pretty good you can definitely see the, dis the discoloration of the dirt of course, it's a little on the warm side, but that's about how I like to do it. Just real quick, melt, melt the wax, and then I'm careful not to, to cook it on the container so that it scorches. Okay, so I did about three quick batches, and this will be kind of my test. I usually just pour a little bit of water in just to double check. And uh, we put it on top. You can see how it. Okay, so you can just see how it beads up real good. And then here's what just regular dry dirt would look like. See how it just goes into mud. So that's why we're making the, the wax dirt process. The batch came out really good, just like normal. I never really go wrong with that. And you can see I can just kind of move that bead around pretty good it is absorbing a little bit but it's still right there you can see how it's still right there so there you go guys uh wax dirt project i will do all of that bag works really good for me one thing i always say is put a fan on it spread it out real nice dry it it will kind of clump otherwise um and then I'll just put it back in those in those containers when I get done. So that's kind of the that's kind of that process in a nutshell. If you got traps you want to keep close by the house during those winter months, this is really what I'm doing it for. Uh, all my short stuff is going to get wax dirt. It's going to keep uh, running for you know I would say a good two weeks. Uh, I can get a good two weeks out of my wax dirt. Uh, sets so okay guys so that was the wax dirt project it was a uh, small batch uh, it's uh, two to 
10 or 1 to 5 on whatever you're using. That's 1 of your wax wax to uh, 5 of your dry dirt. So let's go out on the, the line. I got a beer job I'm going to show you guys uh, real quick and then we'll end the episode. So. Well, guys, we're going to take a little break in the video. I'm going to take you on a beaver job I'm kind of working on. I thought maybe somebody liked to watch this along with the the preseason prep. So, this is like a big marsh ground. And they planted these uh, seedling trees, these sapling trees, right along there. And there was four of them right here. And... Uh, the thing is, they've really, long-term wise, they ought to cage those in real good. That's usually what I tell people. But the beavers are coming up and chewing on these trees. And uh, I think they're going to manage this property mostly for ducks. But at the same time, they didn't, they didn't want the trees tore up. So the beavers kind of have to go. Uh, there's a dike right here. You can see it. It's like a levee. And this stuff here, <laughs> it's no fun to trap along. I set two sets here the other day. Um, I have a caster mound set down there. I brought my ladder so that I don't drown. And then um, I, I put a 330 down here with uh, the stump of one of these trees. I use that as bait. And I put... Um, some of uh, Dale Billingsley chips on it and uh, let's check it out it should be right here oh there you go you see we have a nice beaver I made kind of a, a makeshift slide I could kind of just barely see where the beaver were coming out of there to get on these trees and I really wanted to protect these trees for these people it's a pretty good sized beaver but I'm gonna get down uh, I'm gonna get down there and reset that, and then. Uh, but I gotta reset this one down here. I gotta go up and down my ladder. Oh, I tell you what, the bad thing about this job is these freaking snakes. Look at that, guys. <laughs> That's what I have to deal with. Snakes are so thick down here. Pretty good sized beaver. Nice one. Every bit of. I don't even want to try to figure out how to weigh him. I'll get that set down. The water is not real deep. But I, I was able to create kind of a slide right here. And then I used this. Uh, just a little that chunk of uh, that tree they're chewing off of. Put a little lure on it. On the bank. And then I slide up that slide. And it is just irresistible to beavers. They have to come by and check that out. So... Pretty good sized beaver. I'm gonna get him out of this trap and we're gonna get it reset. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this set. And I, I go to the spring eyes in my state, we can do that. And uh, I just kind of throw a bunch of water on this trail that I kind of made, or it was real faint when I first started. Mud helps make it look like a slide dude about as easy as it gets real natural i put my piece of bark right here my twig it's even better when i shine it up that's what i'm gonna put my lure on and uh just kind of box him in real natural like That's my bait, it's set. Gonna take my safety off when I get ready to leave. That's my set. Plan on there being another beaver here in a couple days. We get a two day check on these, so it's pretty handy for me. Might even put this right here, make it look even more natural. But I want him to see that slicked up bank. He's going to come through there. And have no idea that Connie Bear is sitting there. I'll have another beaver here real soon. 
real simple effective set okay guys i brought you to the real problem you know so we've got this nice big marshy system you've got the levees of the dikes and then that was the other one right here you could see it and then they're building their beaver lodge right here now i did set a uh, 330 right here on the slide where they're kind of coming up there'll be a hole right in here somewhere i'm gonna set a probably a 330 over here or uh, if i if i'm lucky enough sometimes i'll find their hole now the the sticks are always they, they usually have two two spots on these lodges at least if not a third it's usually the two sides and then when the water gets good and deep they come down the middle too so there's also another good spot over here on this other corner you can see that perfect for a uh, caster mount so i'm gonna set that but the problem is on this i'll show you you can see where they kind of they have to have these levees and you can even see where this right here is starting to erode as they this is all going to be hollow right in here can't have that all of this is going to be washed out before long and that's really the main problem on this beaver job they can't build these lodges right on these levees like that so i'm going to get that reset set in there and uh yeah hope you guys kind of like this type of stuff i know it's a preseason uh video but I, I just thought i'd share with you guys some of this if you guys like this content let me know i'll keep kicking it out otherwise you know i'll just won't produce it for you so but uh, i thought i'd share that with you and uh, i'm gonna get that reset hey if you're new to the channel make sure to hit subscribe otherwise click the big thumbs up helps me out a lot i'm jinx have a great day.